Hi there, this is Zoe from Tuku, Tech You Can Use, and today we're going to cover how to create a link in your WordPress website. Often after we've completed a tutorial, uh, customers forget some of the details as it is a learning curve, but one of the questions that I do get pretty frequently is, oh no, I've forgotten how to create a link. So we're going to cover that in today's tutorial. Now, um, perhaps you want to create a link to your own website or to a, a link to another website. Uh, maybe you want to direct your readers or your customers to some additional information. So we're going to cover a few of the differences, whether you're linking internally to your own site or externally to another. Um, I'm going to just uh, type a sentence here. Okay, and we're going to create a link to yahoo.ca and I'm going to choose to make the word here my actual visible link. So I'm going to highlight that word, I'm going to go up to my icons, and I'm going to hover over this little thing that looks like a chain link fence. And your more tag tells you that it's insert edit link. So let's click on that. And we're going to type in the URL that we want to link to. Now, please remember that you don't want to type www.yahoo.ca because that link will not work. Your links need to begin with HTTP. So HTTP colon forward slashes and yahoo.ca. We're going to choose a target. Whenever we're linking to a website outside of our own, we're going to open the link in a new window. And the reason for that is simple. We don't want to lose our reader. So we've created our link. We've chosen for it to open in a new window. We're going to go over here and we're going to update to save our changes. Excellent. I'm just going to close all my extra tabs here. Now that I've done that, I'm going to right click on my view post to open it in a new tab so I can see the new work that we've created. And there's my link to Yahoo. So we're going to click on that. Based on my browser settings, it's opened this web page in a new tab. That's also based on the fact that we chose it to open in a new window. So there it is. So as your reader, I've now left your website and I am browsing the website that you've directed me to. I may spend quite a bit of time on here. I may not. Regardless, when I'm done, the important thing is that your website is still open in my browser, so you have not lost me as a reader. So that's why when you're linking outside of your website, you always want to choose that link to open in a new window. Now, let's say that we were linking to our own website. Perhaps we wanted to direct someone to our testimonials page. I'll click on the testimonials page. Just to make things easier for myself, I'm going to highlight the entire URL and I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to just edit this sentence here to read our client testimonials. Click here. I'll highlight the word that I want to be my text. I'll click on the insert edit link. I'm just going to paste that URL right in. Nice and easy. I don't have to remember it because sometimes URLs that you want to link to can get really long. So it's nice to be able to use that copy and paste function. In this case, my target is going to open in the same window. And the reason for that is I don't need to open another window. I don't want to annoy my readers when I'm just directing them to another page in my own website. There's no need to open multiple tabs. So in this case, I'm choosing same window. I'll insert that link. I'll update the page to save my work, go over to the page, or rather click on the view post so I can see my work. Running out of time here. There we are. Click on the link and we see that it opens the same window. It does not open a new window. So that's how you create a link quick and easy. If you have any other questions, please visit us online at www.tuku.ca. And you can click on the Talk to Tuku button where you can find our telephone numbers and our email. Feel free to get in touch. We're happy to hear from you and answer your questions.